thought I'd be battling forever You never mind the fact I was establishing an error Might as well be giving a bag to a teller You're still in patents, putting the same pattern together I'm Yeah, yeah, your boy Low Deluxe, you know what's up when I'm rolling up All the time about this time, it's still my aces Click fast with the arms over the eight train slick You yeah, know me? Your boy, this is 50.com, you're now tuned in I'm known for teeing these rappers out the frame You know? Burst on the scene about 03 they see me on that Smack DVD versus Murder Mook. That's how I got my start. You know what I mean? Loaded, full clip. Nah, it's just loaded is just for us, uh, saying on the total package. You know me, all wrapped in one. So, you know, whether, you gotta think, uh, well, y'all don't know that, but battling was just an opportunity for me to get my face out there. But at the same time, I started battle rap and I was making music. You feel me? In fact, shout out to the homie Head Ice. He brought me to my first studio session. Now the same time yeah. I started battling. Ah, they didn't know that. How you think how you think we put this music down? All the battles. We gotta walk that walk and we gotta experience life. Yeah. I mean, I'm your average guy. Average Joe. You know what I mean? I just it's a hobby putting words together. You know what I mean? What you wanna know? My hobbies, I love I love to play chess. And I read a lot. You know, stuff like that. I love women. I love women. I love women. <laughs> Yo, that might be one of my vices, man. For women. I just think that's I think they just gotta listen. You know, when people people are so uh caught up in the what they want. You know what I mean? And that's just human nature sometimes that but we forget to be broad minded at the same time. And a lot of times though, that's cause you know when you're dealing with the resources you're dealing with. Stuck in the environments we stuck into, you know, everybody ain't financially fit to do you know, different things in terms of experience in life. So that leads them to think in one way, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, I'm about to change the whole perception on you niggas just seeing me in the ring. Look at I mean look at everything we doing thus far. Got that get your tapes ready, that's out right now. If you didn't uh hear that, you can just probably Google that. That's on a whole lot of sites. You feel me? You can go to alliance3.blogspot.com, you can definitely find it there. Um, shout out to my man Kid Capri, he hosted that thing. Lions in 3 is also in store, shout out to the Kid Capri on that too. We rock that thing together. Um, I can expect that fast way to Harlem to be there in the classic, man. I don't want to put it out, man, I'm waiting, I'm waiting on the homie Guns. Yeah, I'm waiting on your guns, come on, it's hometown record. Shout out to my man Kasha on that thing, murder move. There's a lot of people on it. I want. I want to keep on um, people still um, intrigued. Yeah, that thing. Um, you know that that Ace Click is on there. Shout out to my girl Jazzy Joy. She uh dared me, dared me to be different. You know, what I'm you know, in terms of uh, she was the whole reason I was on 106 and Park. We put the seven weeks down. Yeah, she uh, I was coming off uh one of the Smack battles. She seen it. She. She said, yeah, that's all well and good. You you hot. But you know, she challenged me to do it on a, on another level, another platform with, with different rules. And I think we were successful. Uh, in terms of the homie Kid Capri, he's always been a big fan of the whole battle rap movement, my work, everything. And just was impressed with the whole line then. And at first, you know, we wanted to do a mixtape and we just took it and said, yo, let's put this thing together. You got some resources that that, you know, you can pull in, you know, to make it bigger and more broader. So, we did that and that's successful as well. You know what I mean? So, shout out to Big Bro, Big Sis. You know what I mean? They've been very impactful in my life. That's why my career and my life. Real talk. I do ask me that all the time. They don't, they don't see I'm battling now. They don't see I'm battling now, man. My whole transition right now to make them see me in a different light is a battle. You feel me? So I'm just the type of dude I like to focus on one project at a time. I think I did what I needed to do for the battle rapping community at the time when I came in to it. I think it was impactful in a lot of lives when a lot of people seen it and it inspired them to take it to a whole nother level. You know what I'm saying? I think we all have our, our moments. Not to say I won't never do it again because I still. You know, spot. that's why I dropped the, you know, get your tapes ready, you know. You can still see where I'm at, lyrically. If you, if y'all ever, if you must have forgot or something, you know what I mean? You got any crazy ass ideas, suicidal thoughts, testing that man. 
you know what I'm But, you know, we, we, we gonna do those. So, for, for the fans that love me doing what I do, lyrically, yeah, I, I dropped those. But, um, music is just a, it's more intimate. You know what I mean? In terms of people wanna know more about my life. You know what I mean? That's, that's what that's for. But, um, as far as me battling again, I don't know, we gotta wait and see. There's been some talks, you know what I mean? I, I, I like a lot of people. I mean, I can't say. See, people ask me what I battle, and then that, you know, I gotta think of myself as a business, as a brand, so it gotta make sense in terms of that. But it's a whole lot of people I think is worthy. You know what I'm saying? A whole lot of people. They say you're only as important as the lives you impact. So, if it's for the just, I think, to change the perception of people, I think I. I love the fact that I've even found the mission. You know what I mean? Something to be the overall goal. And like, like right now in my career, I'm trying to change the perception of people. Right? That's like a battle within itself. You know what I mean? So I guess that in a way, if I make that feat, that'll be impactful. But that's what I see in terms of leaving a legacy, being an example for those that's going to come behind me. That's, that's my overall goal right now, you know what I mean? You talking to me, you know what I mean? Right now, I don't, who knows what it'll be five years down the line. In terms of right now, I'm just looking to be an example to my peers and whoever, whoever else is watching, you know? Because like it or not, I always tell uh, artists and entertainers or, or just like teachers, and anybody, you know what I mean? You got to be responsible. When you have a voice, you are responsible, like it or not. Like I said, you know, I'm at the battle with the industry, and I just, I don't give a, I just, I, like, I love making music, man. I, I just like, I like hip hop, period. I, I don't even want to sound like I'm a, because uh, I am a hip hop head. You know, man, listen, I, I love music. I think it's, it's in my DNA. You know what I mean? I can't say like we, we get our little feet inside of our world that things we want to do that we consider that successful. You know what I mean? You could be walking across the street and if you make it to the other side, that's successful. And that's a micro to a macro in a lot of sense. You know what I mean? So I got my little feet, but I just want I want to be peaceful, man. Be peaceful minded and, and enjoy my hobby, enjoy my life. That's that's it. Yeah, yeah, your boy Low Deluxe. You know what's up when I'm rolling up all the time about this time? This is 50.com. You're now tuned in.